Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Divinity. Let us continue by looking at the charred corpse for a bit. Firestorm grenade and the most phallus of trousers. Who has all the grenades? I mean, I guess we can keep a couple, why not? Okay. Any items that we can teleport to ourselves? No. Also, just to let you know, I am kind of recording this ahead of, um, like in bulk, so in case you, you know, give me a message of like, hey, there's a secret here, and if I don't do that secret for a long time, it's probably because I'm a lot of episodes ahead of what you're seeing. I, I feel like I should put that in here, because I don't want people to get upset thinking that I'm ignoring their suggestions. If they are helpful suggestions, that is, and not suggestions like, hey, you know, you should just stop playing. Not that any of you would say that, though. Now cue someone saying that. Don't walk into the fire, please. Kill that, scaled one. You're trespassing in the princess's royal court. Ah, okay, so that was okay. We maybe killed a princess. Listen, I asked, I guess, look, look, I talked to her with the dwarf and not me, or the Red Prince, so that's some, that's my bad. I don't know if I would smirk. Hmm. Eh. I'm not gonna lie about it, though. Murder! Reach your side! You'll pay for this! Man, now I'm upset that I didn't have a conversation with this princess. I am so sorry, friend. I did not mean to. But I kind of totally did. No water. I'm ready. What? That's not what I wanted. But okay. That's a pretty decent range. No, I went into 2 AP. No, I didn't mean to do that. Well, we might as well move up as far as we can then. It says it only hits non allied, right? You poor thing, you are just getting pummeled, man. Much smoother. Wait, what is this? Like mushrooms? Okay, well, is there anything else I'm missing? I don't believe so. Ah! 
Let's see what you have to say. Tatter... Oh, up here. Tatter note. I made it this far. Now there's only a little length of ground to cover. I hear them talking, these strange creatures. One is a royal, I believe. The others, her disciples? But from what I can tell, they've been locked down here for a long time. My strategy is stealth. I'll sneak past them during one of the royal's more impassioned speeches, and they'll likely not even notice me. Home! To Carvo! To Ruskit! To my farm again! I'm assuming you didn't make it. You're one of those bodies that we found. Would be my guess. Water Balloon would have been nice in that last fight. Sure, we'll take a puff ball. Hmm. This looks like an area where there would be a secret. Oh, never mind. Never know when we might find more puff balls. Can't reach. Ah, oh, well. Let's look at this place. Oh, let's also switch this back. Oh! What's happened? What have they done to you? Darling? Yarrow girl? It was her, wasn't it? So this is the answer to the other- So this is one of the ways to get out. Huh. What's happened? Okay. Darling? Yarrow girl? Yarrow girl? Well, since we're on this side, we can go back through there, but let's see if maybe we can buy some stuff. Walk is never done. No, it's not. Do you have anything? Uh, polymorph. No, I don't have any polymorph characters. Hmm. Yarrow girl. There are more NPCs over here. Let's go see if they have anything to sell. Or we can buy from them, I mean. Still gotta find where that shrine is. So we can find the secrets. When another divine arises, will source change best? I fear it will be quite something. Mm -hmm. And you're the water person. All right, armor of frost, rain, restoration. I want all of those. Hmm. Oh, two fifty-two. Yeah, because you have the bartering skill. Bubbles of dust. Fifty bubbles of tears. Oh, make the engines rust. I'm assuming we get more if we... Oh, you don't even have any gold, though. But... I really would like a heal spell. Like, who would use it? We only have so many memory slots. <sighs> no, not yet. So we have two more slots with you. One more slot with you. The 
dwarf slaps his knees and chest until a buoyant rhythm develops and begins to, well, not sing exactly, but chant. They stole me boots and burned me hat, but peace to the sea will come asking for me. They locked me up with a pig and a rat, but peace to the sea will come asking for me. Oh, not bad for being off the top of me head. He bows to an almost comical depth, then rises and laughs. Welcome to the joy, my famed friend. Well, I wasn't feeling so welcome till now. You almost had me dancing. Stay back and let me catch up. You got any more songs in you? This savage beast could use some soothing. Well, I got a right good rebel whooper on hand, warning of the barbaric beast. The other, well, it ain't so respectful, but Royal Guards folk on holiday always ate it up. Gotta admit, I'm tired of hearing the shanties all singing my praises. Let's hear the royalist tune. I bet it dresses me down real good. One royalist tune coming up. Oh, Macca smiles, bastard born, the man had life enraged him. A gnashing varmint he became, so Queen Top then to cage him. A pitiful sight, his inadequate fight, the quivering lump sent out a Queen's sight. Macca smiles, bastard born, the royal knights upstaged him. So the beast's name is Marcus Miles. Ha! I knew there'd be some good lines in there. Quivering lump. It's too funny to be mad at. The royal guard. It's sing this while wandering the hinterlands, looking for rebels in the shadows. It was some time ago, of course, back when you were banished to the Isle of Mists. Beast looks to the ground for a moment, but just a moment. His cheeks rise and redden, and he roars in laughter. <laughs> Those were the days, eh, chum? Well, I've got to get moving. Good to see a friendly face, though. Ain't too many wandering around this glum camp. Huh, cool. Say, I don't know any ancient empire ditties. Got nothing spicy enough to keep my mind off this place for a few bars. Hmm. Yeah, we'll sit down. Oh, oh, don't break your head there now. What do you got? Oh, yeah, nothing. You've been home, is it? Yeah, pity. It... It's getting <gasps> tighter. Oh, right. I can hardly. I, yes, I forgot about you. Are we alone? What do you want to know? I have a proposition. Something, something very worth knowing, but it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. Mm. Oh, two. Oh, noble. But after the magisters take you, all your nobility will have been for nothing. Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? Uh huh. Air mage. So the wind literally at your party's back and aura increases your allies' movement speeds while they stay close to you. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Don't care about that. Say what you will about the divine order. Say what you will about the bishop and the hammer. They're the only. Yep. Oh God, yeah. Where will that happen? Hey there, old buddy, oh. old acquaintance. Sure, whatever's anyway. So they just go back to their starting position. Okay. As you approach the blacksmith, you feel a bony hand on your arm. Fane leans in and whispers in your ear. If it would be acceptable, I have an inquiry for this human. It is of a personal nature. And if it would not be acceptable, well, that would render this entire conversation rather awkward. <laughs> sure, go Fane ahead. Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. Fane's words are quiet, 
but you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. Mm, maybe you shouldn't say that, Thane. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? I told him to slither back to his dungeon, and you can get too, freak! Master Niles? Or Maester Niles? Thane backs away, scratching his head. It seems that didn't go as he'd expected. He is lost in thought, though. She must have said something he found interesting. Based under the fort might be more helpful. I mean, we just kind of came from there. It's you. It's really you. You gave him hell, did ya? Oh, right. So she's the tinkerer, and so she can help us with the source collar, right? That's what uh, the arena said. She sits at full attention, utterly wrapped in your retelling. It might just be you, the one. You might be him. Yes, I am the reigning champion of Fort Joy. She clasps her blackened hands before her and seems, for a moment, on the verge of weeping. Then you're our best hope. You may become the one. So what does it mean to be the one? She looks around, checking for prying ears, and lowers her voice. Listen, I will say anything to her if she can get these collars off us. It would mean everything. The one will prove himself above all others. The one will become divine. Mm. You may be the one to save us all. And what should I do now? There's only one thing to do. I've got to set you free. Uh-huh. Let me take it off. Agree immediately. What a privilege on me. She manipulates the ring uh... around your neck in several quick yet intricate motions. Off pops your collar, and a sense of relief oh... swirls from deep within you. We are free! <laughs> now our power shall be unleashed. You hear me now. You get out of this place. You keep fighting. You become the one. And you think of old Nibora when it's all over. So, can you do that to my friends? So specifically the Red Prince. What about what about my friends? Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? Um. Sure. Oh, why? Looking to buy? Hmm. Hmm. Plus one to warfare. We do need resurrection scrolls. That we do. Hmm. I think the resurrection scrolls are more important than the other stuff. Very expensive though, my god. We're good too. This ring is pretty neat. Especially if I am going to become a fighter. Right, we could buy. Hold on. Get that. This this belongs to Dallas. Oh, the hammer, as you might have heard her Monica. <laughs> I'm just having a tinker with it to try to figure it out. You sure you're not looking to buy anything? Yeah, I prefer banter when it's with paying customers. 
They seem pretty dangerous. Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to okay, never we already, knew it to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, did you invent the collars? You looking to uh -huh. buy something, or do you just want to waste my time? Did you lose my questions for you? <laughs> Hell no. Okay. So that's not an option. Oh, you've been caught up in this. Stay back. Stay back. Keep the monster bed nest away from me. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, now we need to go back. Oh, you know, let's check. Let's go back over here. She groans in pain. Uh, do you know anything about? Her? Leave me. Go. Death may not be the end. She bends over double in a violent coughing fit. As it subsides, she dabs her mouth with her sleeve. Mercy. I, I hope that it is. Oh. oh yeah, you know what? Maybe we don't want to get seen by the guards now that we don't have a collar. We need to go find this magister, magister, whatever his name is. <laughs> Yarrow girl. All right, well, back into this place. There is one more door that I'm hoping we can unlock. If we can't, then this was a waste of time. So now that we are free, we can do Demonic Stare, right? None of source points. How do we get source points? Zero of one. I figured it was the collar that was preventing us from doing the special stuff. Maybe it wasn't. I hope we can open this. Muffled sounds suggest that this scuffed old door leads up to the fort's main floor. It's bound to be crawling with magisters. The thing is, the other way into the fort... I don't know if it's going to be any better. All the better. I could do with a bit more sport before we're done with these idiots. The more the merrier. It's been too long since my last bloodbath. This seems fishy. I'm loath to walk through a door without knowing what awaits behind it. <laughs> yeah. Um, for right now, since you're the only one with warfare, let us give you the ring. And... Good luck to all of us, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh, hold on. We can now wear this amulet. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Oh, boy. I don't know if we're actually supposed to be here or not, because it seems a little fishy. I'm kind of second guessing. Interesting. The creature's breath quickens as you approach, and it shrinks slightly, as though it expects you to strike it. Okay. Hell, Karen, 
you said this way was clear. But uh, that's what the log said, sir. And no one's all for us to be here. Well, the log was wrong, you idiot. I hope for your sake no one will miss him. Madam Zora sent us? The Magister cocks his head. Okay. I'm surprised at what he heard. Uh, so, tell me, what would a lizard kid know about Zora? Tell him the truth. Delarus is a fool. When he got himself caught, and now he's handing out our secrets to any old lizard that happens to scuttle by. Sorry, but Dal led you wrong. There's nothing for you here but secrets you ought not to know. Well... Okay, if this is how you want to do it... Do a little damage like that... I, I thought it was going to be a little explosion here, but nope. Nope. A little bit more than that. And I am okay with it. Now I'm upset. Oh, you piece of shit. Holy crap. Trying to do the element. Hmm. Shield up indeed. Did that just heal us for seven? Okay. This should heal and then burn. Ooh, that also burned you, didn't it? So physical armor, you do indeed. But we have blood arrows now, right? So we should if they're infused with with a surface, then they're magical? No, 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 no they're not. Slow them down. I wanted to attack her. Gosh darn it. Well, you're dead. 
All right, you're crippled. That sucks. We leveled up. Unfortunately, now I already have to use one of my scrolls. I guess we'll keep going that one. Okay. Warfare? Huntsman? Finesse? Let's loot them. A large mallet. Madishakaran shield. Huh. Okay. Well, better than the one we have. God. Much better. I'm starting to think that maybe, at least for right now, we give you a shield as well. Because you went down super quick. It's really cool that you can dual wield, but... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, too bad I bought that, huh? <laughs> uh, waste of money. So I guess this is the boat that we can take to leave, huh? I'm not quite ready to leave yet. There are still things we have to do here? Oh, cool. What the hell? Ooh, pyrokinetic. Okay. Wrong buttons. There we go. See, eight magical, two physical. Mm. I'm good. I wonder if that would just take us to the marsh instead. I don't know. I, I feel like we need to continue to explore this area. Especially if we're looking for another magister down here somewhere. Uh, hold on. 
let us rest first. There we go. Save. I fully expected these silent monks to join in that last. I think I'm going to be sick. We discovered a slaughterhouse known as the Flinsers Playground where managed to torture soldier or er, sorcerers. Okay. Ooh. How much are you worth? Good enough. Holy hellhounds. Those dogs sound out for blood. Hmm. I'm sorry, is that a dog with a crossbow on it? What? Why did the dogs have turrets on their back? What? You intruder! Bandit! Sorcerer! Stop! Go! Die! What? Oh. But, buddy? My tummy hurts. Emmy, fall back. Sorcerer. Tricks. Buddy. Oh. Intruder. Bruno. Buddy. Buddy. My, my mate. Tell her buddy misses you very, very much. Buddy. Mm. My buddy. But, work. Search. Sorcerers? Why? Buddy? Emmy, no! Sorcerer, bad! Baddies, bite! Wrong, wrong! But, Bruno, I miss. I miss my buddy. You, sorcerer, go! Emmy, crying! No! Nice. Die. Kill. Kill. Dust bunny. This rat. My tummy hurts. Cool. A dog is quietly curled in the corner of the cage, seemingly trying to make itself as small as possible. Please. Don't hurt me! Hmm. Get down on your haunches and say you're here to help. But, but, but I might hurt you. You smell like, like what they feed me. They changed me. They made me want to hurt people. We're gonna get you out of here, buddy. I'm afraid. If I leave, I might hurt someone. If I stay, they'll make me into one of their monsters. I'm... I'm better off dead. Hmm. Scratch, fight, bark, kill. That's not cool. Uh, who doesn't have... You do not. There you go, buddy. Lucky find. Journal. This can't be it. A fishing rod grants the skill all in. This is a spear weapon? What? Hold on. Oh, my finesse is not high enough. Um. Where'd you go? There you are. Uh, there you are. What is all in? Perform a heavy attack that deals 11 to 13 physical damage. Oh, okay. That's kind of funny. I don't want to get rid of that. Now let's look at all these books.
Do these give us anything? Okay. Uh, we already read that one. Logbook. Lucian leading charge to front heading towards Elflands. Lucian parlayed with Damien, no peace for father and son. Had no idea about death fog. Everything dead, everything. Black ring, but Lucian too. What? Return to Arx, I guess we won. With the defeat of the Black Ring, people thought peace had finally come, but the Void Woken started appearing. Okay. I feel like we should keep these? Master's crossbow. Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do, there, friend. Um. There we go. So seventeen to eighteen, as opposed to six to eight. We do lose a movement and a finesse. We could slow them, and we have more accuracy with this weapon. Nice. Very nice find indeed. <laughs> My tummy hurts. You, you let me free. What if, what if I'm dangerous? What if I hurt somebody? What if I hurt you? What did they do to they you? They fed me horrible things, meat from, from people. I didn't want to eat it, but they do something to it that makes it irresistible. Even you, the one who saved me, I can picture sinking my teeth into you, ripping the flesh apart, swallowing it down. Trust yourself. No matter what they did to you, you can undo it, doggy. I'm, I'm scared. I'm not myself anymore. I, I have these cravings. I can't be trusted. A low growl. The dog starts to salivate and lick his chops. His eyes go hard and cold. Suddenly, he seems to remember himself and whines. This is... this is awful. I can't Aww. go back into the world like this. Please, just put me down. I won't be party to this. It's suicide. Fine. This poor pooch deserves a little peace. It's for the best. If he's dangerous, it's better to take care of him now. No! We have a soft spot for dogs. I cannot kill this dog. No! 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 Tell him he has a chance to start again. He should take it. Woo! I start again? <laughs> yes! No one will want me now. No, you'll be fine. Yes! Go live in peace! What's up with this hay? Did you expect a needle? Ah! Uh, Ah. I see Die. what you did there, video game. Hmm. Bishop Alexander is looking rather regal. Artistic license and all. Fight, fuck, kill. Magical artifacts that have been forbidden by the divine order as you flip through the book, your eye lands on the section about idols of rebirth. Okay. Oh. Oh, we actually got. Okay. That's why I'm reading these books to see if they do any recipes. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Glowing idol of rebirth. What do you do? An ashen idol of rebirth. Okay, so we need to get an ashen idol of rebirth. I'm assuming that means we can use it like resurrection at will. 
What is this? There's Niles. Some sort of magister weapon. Niles is the person who we need to talk to for um, Thane. What a lovely little trick Dallas uncovered. It makes them so compliant, so willing. My playground has never been more flush with pleasures. Should be glad for the advancements I've made. No one likes to play with a zombie, after all. A modicum of will must remain, or where's the fun? Drained wand. Doesn't seem particularly amazing. It does do more damage, I suppose. But we lose the suffocation. Eh, but still. Okay, anything else up here? Hmm, none of us have the key for this one? Hmm. You do have thievery, though, don't you? Unidentified ring. What do we got? Divine right. Magical armor, poison resistance, plus one to scoundrel, and two to pyrokinetic. Why not? Uh, then we got some of that. Okay. Give that to you. Combine the gold. Okie dokie. So that's everything up here. I'm assuming the Magister is down here somewhere. Let's save it. Because I think we're about to get into a fight. I can hardly remember the smell of his skin anymore. Yep. Oh, but I've told you about that many times. As the Magister turns to face you, you feel Fane stepping up behind you. Have you seen these contraptions? This must be the Magister freak the blacksmith was referring to. He may have the very tool I need to craft my mask. Hmm. Sure, handle Fane this one. Fane cheerfully explains that he needs something to rip off a person's face even demonstrating the idea by reaching over and tugging on the Magister's cheeks. Rather than reacting with horror, the Magister seems excited. Very excited. He exp Unfortunately, oh, the Magister does not seem willing to part with it, no matter what Fane offers. The skeleton turns and storms away. Mm, who are you, you lovely little puppy? He reaches out and gently touches your bandaged arm. Hmm. Stare him down. Why? Oh You're not quite who you seem to be, are you? Our little secret. Please come in. Oh, do make yourself at home, won't you? Decline his invitation. Tut tut, I won't hear anything to the contrary. And there's nowhere for you to go, love. Please stay with me in my playground. Tell him not to further taint his soul by trying to taint your person. You're not listening, darling. Perhaps we should start with making a little more space within those ears of yours. Come, come, Time to die for Papa. Okay. Um, well, 
he's in the middle of all of us, which is actually a good thing, I think. Uh, whose turn is it? Okay, let's see. What do we got? You have a ton of armor. Warfare, Scoundrel, Aerothurge, and Necromancer. Jesus. Well, it's only him. And we can have him... Well, that's fine, actually. to the high ground would be nice. <sighs> Won't be able to petrify him or do any of these things as long as he has those ability- oh man. You can set him on fire. that damage oh my god dude the, the actual fuck rogue damage man this guy needs to die quick God. He almost killed, like, our toughest character in a single turn. And there's so many people here. I just want to get you away from here. Give us more time to focus this bastard down. that far we're not going to be able to attack at all Ooh. but we can do that and continue to move
Huh. Hmm. If this heals us, it's only going to heal by like t 12 or like 7 or something. Shoot, dude. Managed to knock him down. <laughs> Jesus. Kill this guy. I'll yield to none. Are we in range? I wanted the high ground, but we gotta kill this guy. This is not done by a long shot, though. Not by a long shot. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess we do this. Oh boy. Jeez. Why do you hurt me so much? God, and then we gotta kill these beasts too.
Yeah, you yield to none, buddy. Stay in those cages, friends. God. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> hmm. I need you to take some damage here. So let's try and block this spear user. Oh man, those gates. We need physical damage done. But all this is magical, and they still have magical armor. We can do that. Oh my goodness. Get into the dark with you. And then we still got the meat golems. And we still got this person down here. If we can summon another incarnate, then we can cast regeneration. Come back here, buddy. And, um, hang out. Okay, well at least that's dead. These guys are going to be coming out of the woodwork, so... Well. You have a teleportation that could be helpful. How much longer are you going to be burning for, man? Um...
Guess you might as well get up high. God, a whole other wave of, of crazies. Actually, not much I can. I guess we can use this. Plus 12. Do we eat raw food? Disease failed. Okay, we probably don't want to risk that again. Well, at least we got you healed up some. Oh, wow. I was not looking up here. Did everything that we eat just give us, like, regeneration? Shit. And I just probably replaced them all, didn't I? Well, crap. How much your shields up? Two. Interesting that you would. Oh, I see. Oh, I was hoping we could lift that hmm this will at least slow them Can we get? Oh my god, target is out of sight. Delay. Okay. We should be able to hit. Oh my god, your range. We should be able to also petrify this guy. Do one out of water so that we can cast a heal. Did my wait, did my totem just level up? What? Is that what they just said? Um, you can still take a few hits, so we'll come over here. And I guess, we're not going to taunt yet because it's petrified. Path is interrupted by the skeleton? Oh my. I'm going to lose my damn mind, friends. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, there we go. 
We can at least hit something. Jeez. I was getting upset. Now we can taunt. If that thing stays close enough. <laughs> I love those gloves teleportation. And this will chew through your physical armor. It would be nice if we can beat your arrows, but uh, this is fine too. Nice! That high ground! for 23? Oh, because of, yeah, regeneration. Duh. Try and knock him down. I guess we move you up here to join the party. This really came together at the end. Attack of opportunity. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, it even said path is interrupted. Shit. I'm out of AP. Beautiful. Woo! Holy shit, we just did that. That was an insane fight. An insane fight. Okay, let's... Go grab some stuff. Oh my god, this is a long episode. Makes you really want to get a rogue back. The Face Ripper. Procure a ripped off face that could be used for shape shifting. Knockdown arrow, resurrection scroll, leather slacks. Meat golem cage Exquisite. key. The perfect tool to rip a face from a corpse. I think I shall call it the Face Ripper. Now to harvest a few samples. Gather some source orbs and craft a new mask. Okay. Face Ripper. Thingamabobber. There you go. Cool. But we still need a source orb to actually craft that, right? And we don't have one of those. No. Yeah, source orb. Pipe to- oh, pipe to the swamp!
Yeah, I'm not thinking there's anything down here. There is still more to explore in this downstairs area, right? Can't reach. Maybe not. I'm going to take another pass through it, though. Uh, but as I said, that's going to do it for the end of this episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time. Take care.